I remember the age I learned I was scary. Eight, I reached out to hug a teacher and she flinched. Then she remembered who she was and broke herself into a hug that was so brittle, I thought it would cut my skin. This is Kill Move Paradise, written by James Imes, directed by Daryl D. Jones. The play is about four African-American young men whose lives are violently cut short at the hands of law enforcement and as a result of the institutionalized fear and loathing of black men in America. Kill Move Paradise is a beautiful and smartly written play about the experiences of black men in America. Experiences that historically haven't been well represented on stage. We watch the young men try to understand where they are, what has brought them to this place, how they can help one another, and just why they are so fearsome in the minds and hearts of America. One of the sources of inspiration for the play was the murder of Tamir Rice, who was a 12-year-old young man killed in Cleveland. The killing of unarmed African Americans, both male and female, in this country continues at an alarming rate. Bringing awareness to this ongoing tragedy is paramount in moving us forward towards ending the crisis. We see the young men present all of the facets of their humanity. They play, they fight, they forgive, they joke, they bond, and ultimately, they transcend. Brother? What? I'm your brother. Biologically? Spiritually. Hmm. Psychically. That makes sense to me. I thought so too. I think everyone should come see this play because they're gonna laugh and you may cry a little, but I think that's okay. I think it's also an opportunity to honor and celebrate um, young black men and uh, those who are living and those who were taken from us too soon. In the most tragic moments in life, there's always humor. It's an irony, but there's always humor. And humor has been one of the things that African Americans have relied on to, to overcome. So it's, it's funny, it's moving, it's heartbreaking, but it's life.